I think what's special about Wake Forest is opportunity. And you know, Wake Forest just really trusts the students. It trusts you to kind of find your way and explore all the available avenues. What makes it special is the ability to challenge everything you thought you knew going into college. I think coming from kind of rural Minnesota and hearing so many different perspectives, it's made me a much more thoughtful listener. It's definitely made me more aware to more perspectives. It's also made me more of an individual. You come into college thinking, well, what, what in the world am I going to do? It's college. I'm going to freak out. I don't make friends, that kind of stuff. But there are so many people that are on your side and want to see you succeed. And I wish I'd known that coming in freshman year. But I just, I, I'm very appreciative towards a lot of people that reached out to me and did that. Wake Forest filled voids I didn't know I was missing. And that is something that I will never be able to kind of thank the university enough for. It made me grow in that it made me realize that I have to decide what I want to stand for and what it is that I believe in. Being so far away from home and being so far outside of my comfort zone has really challenged me to know myself. I think what's really been unique about my Wake Forest career is the depth of challenge I have encountered here and the way that this community has carried me through. I mean, I guess I just want to thank Wake Forest for believing in me and for trusting me to be the person that I am and letting me shine through each and every day. My favorite Wake Forest tradition by far is Love Feast. It's such a vivid image, seeing all the candles lit and seeing everyone being reminded of how each individual can be a light to the world, but how much brighter it can be if we all are working in harmony. Last spring, when we played Duke in that basketball game, it happened to be midterms week, so I actually was in the library. But when there was like two minutes on the clock left, literally everyone in the atrium just came up to the screen, and right when we won, everyone just ran out, and we all just went and rode the quad. The day that I transferred, I went up and was very terrified, but I was greeted with the deacon. I guess they were having practice somewhere, but he was like, hey, how are you? And I was like, I'm good. <laughs> very confused, but um, for me it was something that I think is emblematic of Wake Forest, a very loving environment, a very supporting environment. I guess it was this time last year, and there was three or four inches of snow on the ground, and classes were canceled, and it was just one of the best days because I went out onto the quad, and everyone was there playing on the quad, throwing snowballs, building snowmen, and everyone talks about like the Wake Forest bubble, and it like turned into this snow globe for a day. My favorite spot on campus would have to be the swings on Davis Field. It's a nice place to just unwind and just find peace and quiet. I miss the campus, and it's a beautiful place. Campus is, it feels like home, and it's definitely going to be difficult to leave after four years here and being so comfortable. Being close to all my best friends and being able to walk around campus and being able to talk to as many people that I can. So the thing I'm going to miss most about Wake Forest is being in a community of students who are like-minded, who are very academically gifted, who strive to reach their full potential and excellence. I want people to know that anyone can be a leader and that you might not always feel like you have the best skill set or you're the best public speaker, but anyone can be a leader and the most important part of being a leader is to lead by example. I think that everyone on some level hopes that they can be a positive role model to someone else, but more than that, I just want my legacy to involve students not accepting the status quo and trying to change their communities for the better, whatever it takes. I want to make my alma mater proud. You know, I, I want to be someone that people know, oh, she went to Wake Forest. Wow, like, that's awesome. I want to make kind of Wake Forest proud, in a sense, so I hope my legacy continues past graduation, whatever that legacy may be.